Okay, sure. Hey, welcome to Let's All Smoking. Tonight we'll be drinking Fresca, the almost citrus uh, diet beverage, as consumed by the monarch in one episode, and consumed by us whenever we can get it. And we're smoking electronic cigarettes, which is all the nicotine and none of the pleasure. And we're celebrating the 35th anniversary of Let's All Smoking. Yep, 35 years of cancer. Uh, burning trousers, frightening monkeys that come on the show, and we're smoking and they're flipping we've had out. We've Richards on, we've had uh, Billie Jean King. Billie Jean King, do you remember that episode? <laughs> well, tonight we have Mr. James Urbaniak from The Adventure Show. Very excited about this guy. Very excited, he plays Dr. Adventure, and he's going to tell you all about the show. Can we have a warm welcome for Mr. James Urbaniak? No. No. We don't need this mic on. Nobody's using it. We're all mic'd up here. They right. gave me one of those Tony Robbins uh, face mics. Can you hear me okay with this Tony Robbins face mic? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So you have the power. So we've been hearing a lot about this adventure show that you're doing. We just love to hear about it. And smoke. Well, the show's called Adventure Brothers, and it's sort of a parody of Johnny Quest. Uh, and uh, it was created by you and you. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So, so you're saying you on the uh, adventure hour? I play. It's called Adventure Brothers. It's a muscular role. Right? And, it's a very uh, physical role, I hear. Well, it's actually a, a cartoon. It's an animated show. Uh, so uh, I don't Super really. Duper. So you. So what you're saying is you go into a cartoon world, maybe through a portal. Every episode, the Dr. Adventure just goes in and he, he comes out into a beautiful cartoon world. And I like that. That sounds fascinating. That's, Tell us about it. That's a delightful and very ambitious idea for a show. Yeah. Uh, the Adventure Brothers is actually an animated cartoon. Were you in Cool World? <laughs> Does this take place in Cool World? <laughs> is that the Ralph Baggins show? Yeah. Yeah, with the magic and the cartoons. And Not the portals. Only, I've never seen it. Is it in the uh, Who Frame process? Like Roger Rabbit, which is in the Who Frame process. The what frame process? Who Frame. I'm not familiar with Who Frame. Who Frame Roger Rabbits. Oh, I see. That's where they draw over real people and then they... Yeah, it was invented by the, the, the person that invented the Who's yes. from Whoville. Super. Gosh, I'd like a Fresca. Fresca! Fresca! The, the almost citrus Fresca. It's almost beverage. soda. You know, President Ford loves Fresca. You should have a Fresca. He said that in an interview with Dick Cabot. I don't know if you read your contract, you actually have to pour and drink a Fresca. Oh, yes! Uh, is this my time? Man, that Fresca is say in the year 35 years screwing over the... Uh, I love pouring Fresca and smoking. Yeah. <laughs> So Dr. Adventure wakes up in the morning and he's whisked away to another cartoon adventure. Tell us about one. You're misunderstanding the show for family. Uh, the, are you familiar with the old 1960s cartoon Johnny Quest? Never heard of it. No. Nope. Well, anyway, Johnny Quest was about a family uh, and the dad's a kind of adventure and there's a boy and they have a bodyguard kind of guy. And so that's sort of the template. Are you familiar with the word template? No! Is that a sneaker? This is a damn good fresca. Yeah. That's all awesome. smoking! <laughs> so... Since you seem to be having a hard time explaining what the show is, do you want to... Uh, you have, have you brought a clip? Yeah, I think... Do we have a clip? What, what, what are you going to show? What's the, what are you going to show? Why don't you talk us in? I'm not sure what the clip is. I think this might be from the Halloween special. Is that true? That is airing somewhere around Halloween. So you wake up and you're a real person and you're whisked away into a Halloween adventure. Yes. Uh, 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 I play a man. He's a doctor. Uh, he's a GP. And he goes trick-or-treating. And when they open the door to the old Wilson house, yeah. he gets sucked up into a Johnny portal Quest. and becomes animated. Now you're smoking! Let's see the clip! <laughs> Let's roll that clip! Let's bring it up. 
Bring the stage lights down while we do that. Clip three. <laughs> And he I was the midget. He's the, the skinny, the bald guy. The one that was flat. dressed as David Bowie. No, that was another character. The one with the V on his face. No, no, that's not him. With bosoms. The skinny guy. That are new this year. And the glasses. I can understand why you were confused, because I do a very complex characterization, and I do this completely different voice than my own. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear it inside of it. Because I actually have to do an hour of vocal warm-ups just to do that voice. That's fast. Have a clip of that. <laughs> Fresca break. <laughs> Smoke break. That's all smoking, gentlemen, That's huh? That's all smoking. You know, the guys from Leonard Skinner love Fresca. <laughs> Not anymore. No. Gerald Ford and Leonard Skinner. This, it was the same interview they both mentioned. So you say that we have something to do with this show. Yes, I believe uh, Jackson created it, and you're the co-writer. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> Maybe he made up the name. <laughs> Did you create it? I thought he I have nothing to do with this show. <laughs> I mean, you've been partners since the get-go. I remember we were in a bar in New York when Jackson sure. first uh, suggested uh, that I record the pilot. That was South Africa. <laughs> the night we had Herve Villachez on the show, I think. Fantastic, Herve Villachez. It wasn't on this show. This is just a make-believe talk show you invented for to, to do something creative with the Venture Brothers panel because last year sucked. Wow, that's going to be a great episode. <laughs> that is getting tweeted. 
Twitter doesn't exist. It's the 70s where you smoke on TV. <laughs> you are blowing my mind, sir. So what do we do with this now? Well, maybe the audience has questions. I know we should do. This hit a wall, and now we can move on. Uh, we've, we've read the brief on the Adventure Brothers, uh, both Jackson and I, and we can field some of your questions. If you have any, we're going to run to the audience and to answer them. And as a little gift, Doc Hammer put out a little uh, record called The Late from his band Weep. We'll be giving them to the first eight or nine people that ask questions. It might be all of them because we have a limited amount of time here. Now this is what? This is like a comedy scene. Hey, I didn't ask you a damn thing, sir. I'm just talking to the audience. It's like, is this prank phone calls or something? Coming at me with your, <laughs> with your fresca brass and your electronic cigarettes all over me? That's... Skits? Do you have skits on the CD? Skits? Do you, have a, do you have a clip of the CD? We got a clip of the CD. No, it's just music. How about you play the uh, theme when we uh, answer some questions? A show of hands would be really helpful. Maybe put a little lights on out there. And maybe we can let's all take our sunglasses off. It's always happening. There will be no Mr. Rogers references or characters. Next question. Really? Maybe one? Do we make one? All right, cut the music. Jackson, do we make any jokes about the... Uh... I don't think so. Okay, music. <laughs> Dr. Rogers is now. All right, hold on. I'm skinny. Don't worry about it. Pardon me. This woman brought her own chair. Oh, let's get in between you two. Why don't you shuffle over there? Oh, that is a 26 inch waist, maybe tops. What can I do for you? Yeah, I was just wondering how you managed to book Conan O'Brien. Did we ever book Conan O'Brien? Never. 1974, let's all smoke it. Conan O'Brien. He was a young man and he talked about nothing but micronauts the entire time. Starting out the business. Let's have some music. There'll be a lot of tweeting about how Doc Hammer's penis just breaks up against your knee. How are you there? And you're from the Mario Vic game. Yes. I wanted to know out of all the characters that you do voices for, which ones are each of your favorites? Favorite characters you do voices for? How about our guest first, James Urbaniak? Well, of course, I love Dr. Venture, but I always used to enjoy, like, playing, like, <laughs> like the guy on the corner, or the cop, or in the, uh, in the yard sale. I'm like some green goo who talks like Paul Lind. Right. <laughs> I'd, like to I'd like to report an accident. <laughs> or something like that. Security. But I haven't done most press of press charges, by the way, James. What? what? I'd like to press charges. Uh, no, thank you. I'd like to press charges. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> You, that's how you do Paul Lind. You just, you kind of do an even stress on every line, and then you kind of break in the end. Jackson, favorite 